Alright, hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Colorado Railroad Productions. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a how-to on how to put windows in a caboose or any other piece of rolling stock in any scale that doesn't have windows to make it look a little more realistic. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some toothpicks. We're going to need some, like, blister pack type. We use this from a Kato track box. A pair of scissors and a screwdriver and some super glue and the car you're going to use and I'm going to use a uh, Concord bay window caboose that I got for like five dollars so first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to take the caboose apart or whatever car you're going to use so this one just snaps apart as you can see there's no windows on the inside so now that you've got your caboose part you can go to step two which is you take your blister pack and you can just cut a straight piece off, like I'm just using the little corner here. Cut it. And here's your piece. And then you just use a whole strip for the whole inside of the car. So, since this is a bay window, we'll only do the ends for now. And so, just kind of eyeball it and cut it. You can always cut it later if it doesn't quite fit. So, trim that down. and see if it fits and it fits okay and so then what you're going to do is you're going to get your super glue and get dip your toothpick in it get a good bit on there but don't do too much or it could smear and then rub it on the inside there so there's a decent amount and put a little more on and then you stick your window in like so hold it until it's dry like that and then we'll repeat the process on the other side alright and now we've got the side done as you can see with the reflection I don't know how well it shows up on camera but you can see we got the two windows on the sides and now for the bay window and it's a little tricky to get in there but just cut it out and glue it but I found on these older Concord cars the bay window actually snaps out of it so then you can just take that and you can take your glue like we did before get a good amount of glue then you can just kinda of rub it on there get it all over so it sticks really good and then take your piece of glass and stick it in and that's all you have to do for the bay window alright and now for the last part on the other couple of, or the other bay window sorry I'll show you another neat little trick that makes it look like the window is like half open and I'm not going to do the side windows because those are just too small on HO I might do it but N scale uh, it wouldn't work so again, just take your glue, smear it around so it sticks nice and good. Take your window, stick it in there, maneuver it so it's in place, right place, and like so, like that, and you're done. So now time to reassemble the caboose, so we'll pop that couple in. And see, it kind of looks, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like it's half open, half closed. Which is kind of a neat little trick to make it look more realistic. But this trick works really well for older cars that do not come with windows. Because a lot of the newer high-end cars do include windows. But since most of the older ones don't, it's kind of a neat trick that makes your car look a little more realistic. And then you just kind of snap it back together. How it went. Like that, and you're done.